You know, another disease that, that's really important in Canadian wildlife right now is a disease called white nose syndrome. And this is a, an infectious disease of, of bats. Um, it's caused by a fungus. It's a fungus that's newly arrived in North America that came to us from Europe. Uh, and it attacks bats uh, that hibernate in caves so where it doesn't quite freeze and uh, they're able to, to, to spend the winter there. Uh, and it's during the winter that they're affected by this fungus. The name white nose syndrome comes from the fact that this fungus uh, grows as a, as a white mold right on the skin of the bat, sometimes right around the nose, and so it's, it's quite distinctive uh, uh, when, when you see it, so hence the name. But this is totally new. Uh, this was first discovered in a, in a cave of hibernating bats in New York State in 2006, uh, very close to the Canadian border, actually, uh, and uh, affected... Uh, um, Colonies of bats suffer 90 to 100 percent mortality. It's just a complete wipeout of the of the uh, sensitive species in these caves, and uh, it's resulted in regional virtual extinction of, of species that were once enormously abundant in New England and uh, New York and places like that, and it's spreading into Canada and, and uh, uh, in, in further west and, and south in the United States. Um, so recovery from uh, this disease, if recovery is possible at all for these bat populations, is going to be extremely slow uh, because they've been knocked out to virtual extinction. And these are long-lived uh, small animals that um, uh, reproduce very, very slowly. They live 20 to 30 years, slow rate of reproduction. Recovery, if it's possible, is going to be a matter of decades and decades and decades.